my name is Jack Osman, uh, Professor Jack Osman actually. Uh, I am a college professor from Institute of Physical Science, Culture and Arts Malaysia. I'm also the uh, chief instructor of the Harno Barantai Silat International. Uh, in this organization, under my school, we have other other st Silat styles that we taught in school. Uh, now, the next five years, we are promoting Silat Hari Gayung Harimau from Malaysia, from the Kedah Empire, and Silat Tomoy, another Silat from the Kedah Empire. The Kedah Empire is the first uh, Malay Empire, the first great Malay Empire, it kicks off around the first century. I started Silat when I was five years old, which is a long time ago, I'm 56 now. So it's about 51 years ago. I was taught by my late father, uh, Pendekar Haji Osman Kasim, who was the Harimau Brantai warrior of uh, the modern day, modern day era of Malaysia. Dad passed away when I was 10, and mom told me to, uh, mom took me and sent me to train as, as many Silat teachers as possible. Uh, as possible you know. So I, I trained under many teachers, I have 30 teachers, and uh, majority are still alive and I'm still happy to go and learn from them. So uh, I only got Harimo Barantai, my family system, when I was 25. So that's what uh, my late dad wanted me to go through my my path, or walking the path of the warrior. So I am a, a multi, multi-silat uh, practitioner and but the cool thing about it is that when you start learning many silat, then you can see the strength and the weakness of yourself doing silat. Yeah. So uh, by learning uh, many silat and do not I didn't mix them, I teach them separately and always keep it separate. So that's the way that I can be the next generation that take this this silat that I taught, taught by my teachers to the to the next to the future. So that's why I am not the typical I want to be number one kind of Silat Guru and mix seven Silat styles and call it Jack Osman Combatives Extreme. No, I'm here to take Silat as it is already taught, originally taught to me to the next generation. Dad knew I was too young to teach Harimau Berantai, uh, to, to learn Harimau Berantai. Harimau Berantai is a silat system from the Panglima Harimau Berantai himself, Haji Asraf. He's the one that fought the Dutch in the 17th century, the family, the family of warriors that we call, was called Harimau at the time. The Dutch call my great grandfather, great 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 grandfather Haji Asraf, the tiger. But he is the chief. He's the he's the he leads the prayer in the mosque. He's a he's a imam. So how come you call a, people, a person of God an animal? So the family decided to call him Harimau Burantai. Burantai means chain. A tiger being chained down by his faith, his religion. He's a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's not out there to kill people, but he's there with his clan to save. The Malay race of those time called Java against the invaders, the invaders which is the Dutch. Okay, now Harimau Branta has always been a battlefield art, and it's sent down to me by through my auntie. Yes, it didn't it didn't go through any kind of modernization or rebranding. It was taught to me like like it was taught to her, which is a battlefield stuff. So Harimau Branta is a uh, art of war basically. Out of all, all about winning, losing is not an option. So this kind of silat cannot be taught to just everyone. Yeah. So in order for me to appreciate what my family silat is, dad, my late dad is very smart. He put told my mom to put Jack on a journey to learn as many silat, silat, silat styles as possible, which has gone through evolution, which has gone through changes to fit the modern, the modern way of life. So, the cool thing about it, every Silat style, every Silat teacher that I trained has something special to offer. So the more you learn, 
the more you open your mind. But that's not really the issue. The issue is learning to appreciate where you got the sila. Until today, I feel all my teachers are my fathers and mothers, you know. I love them. I, I am willing to die for them. I'm willing to defend their honor. So, but when I got Harimau Brantai, when I was 25 years old, I realized that, oh my God, you know, my own family art is is so cool. Yeah, it is so uh, reality based. It is so battlefield tested. It has been proven. It is a combative thing. But that didn't make me, you know, a bad guy by saying, oh, my style is better than all the styles that I've learned from other groups, which is not. Every style has something special to offer. From learning from many teachers, it gave me that. Wow, you know, if I wasn't sent by my mom to learn at all these teachers and went straight to Haringo Brantai, I could be an a-hole, let us say, today. <laughs> but now, look at me. I've become a platform to see lot. I'm still that guy of Haringo man. I'm still that tomboy man and many more. I love my teachers. I love the arts. Yeah, this gave me the chance to take silat, not just Harimau Baratai, as many silat, authentic as possible, to the world.